Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through the concept of drafting flat and flipping up and moving in SketchUp so you can see that it's just equally easily done with points in your calculator. So um, that's the concept of transformation. So I'm going to just basically draft something up here and we're going to think about drafting things flat and tipping them up because I think it's a little bit uh, more common in building to kind of think about uh, pushing walls through and so I'm going to build something here uh, 30 meters across at the top this is going to be a bridge pier um, for support 30 meters across and just uh, 4 meters across at the bottom so I'm going to go ahead and start with this general bit here going across 30 when I think about here I'm going 30 30 and I'm going to make it actually 20 meters tall so I can say 20 M I gotta kind of put this in here first and then I'd say 20 I wait for my 20 meters come come with 30 meters so I've got that kind of general shape here pulled out and what I want to now do is start thinking about dividing this up and then going in and breaking it up into smaller shapes that are called complex uh, convex holes where nothing can be hidden inside the shape. So I'm going to go here hitting the edge of this box, hit the move key, hit the control or the alt on an apple, go across here. I'm moving over two meters. I'm going to draft the half section two meters there. And I went 30 so I actually only wanted to go 15 because I only wanted to go half. I'm going to draft half of this. So I'll bring this one back by clicking on this here using essentially the offset key, using the control key, clicking once, moving over 15 meters. And in this case, I'm going to give the top, you'll see it fill in a little bit, I'm going to the top one meter. I'm going to grab that top there. I'm going to bring it down with the control key, one meter. And I'm going to then change it to a, maybe I'll just do a 30 degree down bubble, show you how that works here. I go across from here to there, and now I'm going to go down 30 degrees, and I have something I can draft there. I can go with a line from there to there. I can now get rid of everything, but what I want to do eventually is I want to actually have this in two pieces, or even potentially three pieces, so I'm going to leave that line there. And now I'm going to get rid of everything out here, right click, get rid of everything right here, right click. And in the end, I can either decide to have this as one piece going all the way up like this, across like that, or edit. I could also have done something like this, as the case may be. So thinking about kind of shear planes and the like, I actually will do this one this way. So you've got something basically up here. Uh, and then something that's going to be um, kind of added on to it. Though realistically, the other way would have been probably equally or more important, and probably better if you think about construction techniques. So I'm going to erase this out. What I'll often do is now take this piece and push it off to the side with the control, get that out of the way, and then bring it back individually so you can actually use the push and to make it into shape. So I'm going to grab all this again. I guess I didn't need to do that last erase, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it back, keeping track of my basic point there. But in this case, my basic point, now if I don't hit a control, it just moves things. And you'll see that's problematic later. So I'm going to make this now an abutment, which is going to be a box. So I'm going to take and go ahead and you're not waiting for the computer to catch up it's not. Okay, did catch up there. Okay, so it caught up to me a little bit. Um, we'll see what this thing did. I'm going to go back to view, camera, standard views, top view. Zoom down into here. And what I want to do is basically push this up. I'll make this two meters this way. 2M which I now can go ahead and make into a right click, make into a group per se, 
really not that important to make that into a component yet. And now I'm going to go ahead over here, erase out all that, erase that, and I'm going to do the same thing here, make that two meters coming out, add it undo, turn around a little bit here, see if it will do it this time. I'm going to push this out, basically the extrude command by two meters. Once again, make this into a group. And now I can go ahead and move that group, grabbing that first, then my tool, then my control key. You basically you want to get in the habit of moving things, not necessarily not necessarily, I'm sorry, copying things and moving things. I'll show you then in this program, right click, you can actually flip along. I never get this to work, but I'm gonna flip that along. That works reasonable to me. And then go ahead and rotate 180 using the rotate tool. And once again, bring that back. What you have here is I'm making different pieces. Now you could have thought those pieces out and just done transformations and translations, uh, rotations and and translations to get it in the right spot. I've now got something here that I'm going to really want to make a component. So before I do that, you want to get used to this concept of moving things to the zero, zero. So you're going to go ahead and very often this program again, you're going to want to put just this line, a cross section line here, there, a diagonal line so you can grab this whole thing. I'm not going to grab, I'm going to go back and get rid of these other things. Right click, erase, grab that whole thing, make a selection set of it. Now you're going to do actually the move from that center point there, take it down hopefully to the zero, zero, which you've now got here. You can go ahead and take all these things now and do the rotate. So you grab, rotate, face, hold the shift key, go to that point, up and then up one, I'm sorry, 90 degrees. And now you are about ready to make this into a component. Now. Later on, you see, you could have done all that same work with a calculator by drafting things flat, copying what you had, and changing the Z elevation, putting that on the all into one matrix, and then kind of doing your rotations, transformations, uh, and then maybe moving it out into another matrix. Kind of, you can put all these things together and come up with your points literally by matrix. So I'm gonna hit a pause here for a second. Now, I'm going to point out now why, in fact, you broke this up into three pieces. Uh, in this program, heading towards some sort of physical modeling or structural modeling or just even animation, is that you want to avoid the concept, at least in thin sketchy physics, of convex, concave shapes. And so if this is all one shape, there would be places essentially in here where you could hide from some other place. But by breaking it up into three shapes, you that's not the case, so what you want to do now is once you've got those groups, right click, change them so their shapes are either the box or in this case, a convex hull. So we're going to go to sketchy physics, shape, a convex hull, and the same thing here, sketchy physics, shape, convex hull. And now you're prepared to go ahead and make this into a component which will then grab up all the other pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these things, right click, make a component. I'm gonna call that a pier. I'm gonna set my component axis. This is the most important thing, always has been, always will be when it comes into defining groups or blocks. I set create here. And now I have something later on if I want to I can, you can kind of think about, you can't basically go ahead and then scale this. So you would have actually made this into a couple pieces. You can see you could have basically take this one up and then connected up these side pieces if you wanted to change the height. However, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you basically going down the road, hitting the control key, moving it at, let's say I'm gonna go 50 meters. A long way, I'll go 30 meters, it's 100 feet. That's a long way, 20 meters. And I can say maybe now 10 times. And you get the concept of how that might work. Obviously, what you got to realize here is you are building Cadillacs, is the term. 
you are not building widgets. So I'm going to bring this up now to 33 meters. And you can look down the road how it looked before you put your bridge deck on. So um, you'll see this concept here. Uh, we're we're going to realize now these physical objects, as we turn on sketchy physics later, are some things that you can kind of attach up to the ground and, and kind of buy different end constraints and get some idea about how the earth moves or how uh, these things work together. But kind of the, the basic sense I want to get you to realize in this is that you could have done a lot of that design on a sheet of paper with X and Y coordinates, made it into a shape which you could then copy and change the elevation and then rotate and translate and kind of done all this work here effectively just uh, by by point work and calculation work uh, matrices. So uh, we'll leave it at that except I'll try to right now show you how you now push out a model and we'll be able to get this one down. So this basically is one model. Really all I want in here is one of these but I'll space them all out. I'll go ahead and add one more thing to this before we leave and I'll have like, some kind of ground plane that this stuff can connect to. And so I'll make that ground plane this way if I can. I'll try to make a box. And it's kind of looks like it's grabbing, trying to make the box this way for me. It's making the box that way, up and down. Um, you see how it's grabbing that there? Well, I can go ahead now and push that box out. And because those things are already components, right, it's not going to have a problem now when I grab across here and then go ahead and make a group of that. And that, of course, should be a group that is a box. So I can later on move that group down, as the case may be. I'm holding the down key once, and that'll lock my direction here. I'll leave that a little low. I can now make this right click, sketchy physics. I can make it a static box. And I'm going to hit File, Save here real quick. Save as. Bridge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on Sketchy Physics now with a little bit of a worry in my brain, but it'll probably explode, but we'll do it anyway. View Toolbars. Sketchy Physics is there. I'm going to turn it on. Looks like it's working better than I expected. And then it stopped working. So we'll see how that model works in another way, shape, or form. Thanks for listening.